What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Hotel Dusk. Last time, we found out that Mila and Dunning are having a private conversation that we want to invade in. Nose. Nose. Eavesdrop. Nose. What the hell? Nose. Nose drop? No. There's no word. No. Okay. I'm clearly making up words right now. So, that's always a great sign to record. It's the perfect time to record because I'm starting making up words. Don't know what I'm talking about. All right, Dunning's room, shut up. Go to Dunning's room. Dunning's room, where? Lobby. Wait, yeah. To go to the hallway, which goes to Dunning's room here. Okay. Man, rough day. I thought a nap might take care of that, but apparently not. Yo, hide! Uh? New era! I just got done talking to Mama Sass, my man. Heard the boss man came and took your new friend away, yeah? That's cold. I was about to check his room. Better you than me, my brother. But I got your back if you need it. Otherwise, I'll swing around the hotel and see what I can find. Wait, Louie. What about the wine cellar? No, man, I ain't been there yet. Check it out. I'll swing by once I take a buzz through Dunning's room. Whatever you say, Ossifer. Louis runs off. Hello? We meet again, Dunning's room. And office. Really, I've broken into anything Dunning's ever owned. No one here. Oh man, I was I was having have uh I was having soup the other day and oh like the water was really hot and I, it burned my lip and I got a blister and then eventually you know it's trying to heal but it's scabbed and I'm doing all this talking and it's just like oh it's burning it burns because I'm tearing it I'm tearing my lip I've already looked at this stuff hockey stick yeah I've already looked at this what have I not seen though ba 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 beep beep ba 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 Oh, nope, nope. Oh, I, wait, no, I saw this too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little girl in this photo. That's a pretty big refrigerator. Mmm, blue stuff. There's a glass bottle in the refrigerator. There's a blue sludge inside the bottle. What the hell's this? Eat it. I think this is paint. What the hell kind of paint comes in this thing? I got some old paint. Why is that important? What do we know that's blue? Something that's blue. I don't know anything that's blue. There's some jam here. I wonder what flavor it is. Eat it. Dude, just eat it. It's a chilled bottle of booze. Oh, why do you tempt me? Drink it. Coward. I looked at the picture. Uh... There's just more alcohol that he's not gonna steal, because he's a big wuss. Have I been in here before? Wait. Oh, I thought someone was in the bed for a second. I swore I've already looked at everything. There's a brochure on the desk. There's a hotel brochure on top of the desk. This brochure. This is the same brochure Mila was carrying, the one from 10 years ago. Why would Dunning have one of these two? What's this? There's something written here. It's a sketch of a wine cellar with some kind of symbol on it. You mean a circle? Yes, it's called a circle hide. Hmm. Behind the farmost cabinet? I got the old brochure that was on the desk. Good, just keep, see, keep on stealing. Appeal of Ostrazone. The date on the paper is 1972, that's seven years ago. The article reads, Ostrazone's works, while smaller pieces, features a distinctive expression. Light and shadow are used in a way beyond that of any other contemporary artists. Overflowing with a sensibility that is subtle, yet bold. These canvases charm easily. That's like, 
That's the lamest description you can give anything. Subtle yet bold? That's like, mmm, this coffee, subtle yet bold. Mmm, this wine, subtle yet bold. They can also capture the purest essence of a thing in a single fleeting moment. Most notably, the work Angel Opening a Door is a masterpiece. Terrible name. It so opens ambiguities in the viewer's powers of imagination that even a layman can. Nice 50 cent words, pal. I wonder if Summer wrote this. But why would Dunning keep a newspaper article about Ostrazone? I got the Ostrazone article. What's this? I can't look at it, okay. Can I look at this? There's something in the drawer here. Happy birthday, Jar? Jan? Jar? Jen? There's a bunch of birthday cards in the drawer. I've seen this card before. You did? There was one just like it in the co- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, Jenny. The cards are all addressed to Jenny. What does this mean? Maybe there are lots of Jennies. Maybe it's one for every year of her birthday. Ever think of that? Hmm? Ever think of that? Oh, there's a second drawer. There's nothing in the drawer. Okay. What about this? Kindling? Some kind of wood carving. Okay. It's a picture of Dunning and a young girl. So, he is Ostrazone, huh? I mean, I'm trying to think it's something else, but it seems like that's the best uh, explanation. There are a lot of newspaper clippings on the wall in front of the desk. Okay. There are magazine and newspaper clippings on the wall next to the desk. Okay, what, am I, what else am I looking for here? There's a shelf next to the bed. Dunning's bed. Bet it's not as lumpy as the one in my room. Okay, I'm leaving them, if you don't have anything else to show me. Okay, video game. Where are Dunning and Mila? And what could that symbol written on the old brochure mean? I need to figure this out, and fast. Well, we need to go to the wine cellar. The wine cellar, which is by the pantry? Which is in near the kitchen? I mean, it makes sense for it to be near the kitchen. So let's go towards the restaurant. Wait, is this right? Kitchen, is it in the kitchen? Uh... Oh, that's right. You gotta crawl when you're in the kitchen. I always forget that. Pantry. Okay, we're in the pantry. So, is it this one? I don't think we've ever gone in the... Okay. Could Mila and Dunning be here? This is some shady shit right here. This is like... The setup of a... Of a NCIS, CSI... Law and Order... Bones... What other cop procedural shows? Criminal Minds. Elementary. God, there's honestly, it's just like, there's hundreds of them. Okay. Once I heard about the Apple paintings from Rose, I decided to have a look. There were five in all. Two on the first floor. And three on the second. I found one of the second floor paintings in the hallway. And I found another one in my room. The last one on the second floor was in... On the second floor. The hallway... Oh, t oh, okay. The last... Why would they give me one of these now? I'm about... I'm, op I'm right in the middle of opening a door. I'm like, wait a minute. Let's reflect. The last second floor apple painting was in room 217. I found five apple paintings in all. Each painting had a different letter hidden on it. I had Rosa open room 111, so I could take a look at the final painting. Then I rearranged the letters that I found in each of the paintings. 
had to mix them up so they matched the number of apples in the paintings. When I finished, they spelled out the name. Probably Jenny, I don't remember anymore. That'd be really stupid if it was Kevin. That's right. They spelled the name Jenny. Once I solved the puzzle, I went back to Mila and Rosa. I found Mila on the floor. Her breathing had stopped, so I had to give her mouth to mouth. Re not really. It looked more like you were nestling her face with your face, and then she just kind of went, Whoa! You're, neck you're a little close, mister. When she came to, Mila was able to start talking. I grilled her for a bit and learned a few things. Like that she had been to this dump before with her father. When they came here, Mila was... 33 years old! I'm afraid she has the, uh... Brad Pitt... Oh, what's that movie? Uh, no one ever talks about it anymore, so I don't remember the name of it. Hold on a minute. Brad Pitt movie. Age backwards. What the heck? Curious Cage of Bench Bench Button. Bed Bed Button. That, yeah, that's it. But, okay, no. So, she's 19 now, I think, so we'll go to 9. That's right. Mila was 9 years old when she came here with her old man. She made friends with a girl named Jenny. Guess the shock of seeing Jenny get, ab get abducted put Mila in a coma. Mila went under when she was just nine years old. And she was in that coma for a long time. Kevin told me he knew her from his time at the hospital. Where she stayed. And the name of that hospital was something general, right? Wait. Uh, I... Red Crown? Wait. What is... I've heard Red Crown. I don't think that's... Ugh. Nope, that ain't right. Red Crown is the name of the company I... Oh. <laughs> no wonder I know the name Red Crown. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Robbins. Nile is the bad company with the paintings and the criminals and the crooks. That's it. She went to Robbins Memorial Hospital in Santa Monica. She only woke out of that coma six months ago. When Mila regained her voice, some of these mysteries started making sense. Then, Ed called and told me about the hotel's previous owner. Seems Robert Evans bought the place ten years back, then dumped it on Dunning. Then Rosa showed and told me that Dunning had taken off with Mila. Dunning wasn't in his room, but I tossed the place anyway, because that's what I do. That's his specialty. I found something in his desk drawer. It was... Birthday cards. That's right. I found a whole bunch of birthday cards. They were all addressed to Jenny. <gasps> Wait a minute. Dunning, is he the abductor of the first daughter? No, no, no. That, no, he, no, he's the father of the abduct. Okay, I, tied them all confused. They were all addressed to Jenny. When I saw them all together like that, I figured it out. Jenny is the name of Dunning's daughter, the one Rosa told. Everyone, look! Everyone, come look at this! The ro the one Rosa told told me about. Oh, she told told you. She told told you real good. How do Dunning and Evans tie together together? What kind of shady, shady dealings were they up to? Evans and Mila? Dunning and Jenny? Jenny and Mila? Dunning and Mila? Two men and their daughters? And what about the Kyle High that paid Mila a visit? Was that you, Bradley? Outside in the LA night, the worst side of the humanity has licensed to roam. And here, inside this hotel, I'm my Am I going to find something that I don't want to see? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm getting close to the truth, Bradley. And to you. Are you really? I feel like you haven't really gotten closer. You've sort of been invading everyone else's Louie! 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 Kick him. Right in the stomach. Hey. 
Hey, how you doing? Honk honk. What happened? Dunning, you dick! You dunning dick! No, oh, it's obvious it's dunning. Look at that silhouette. Chapter 10, 2 a.m. Didn't mean for it to come out like sing song, but. Mr. Hyde? Mr. Hyde! Mr. Hyde! Wake up! Oh, what am I going to do? You can't be. Are you dead? Land sakes, Mr. Hyde, get up. Ooh. You're alive! Must be. Being dead wouldn't hurt this bad. Thank goodness, I'm so glad you're not dead. Why'd you call the 911, stupid? Are you going to be alright, Well, are you? Yeah, I think so. Head's killing me. I hear you, brother. Bruv, got me a whole 42nd Street traffic jam blaring away. You gonna make it, Louie? Yeah, man, I'm breathing. But I got a knot on my noggin the size of a baseball. You and me both. I'm glad that's all it is. To come in here and find the two of you on the floor. Goodness. I near to fainted clean away. What on earth happened? We got thumped good. Some dirtbag hit us from behind. Yeah, Hyde? That's my take on it. I walked in here and saw Louie on the floor. And when I went to check on him, Somebody dry gulched me. Never saw it coming. That would be so funny if Rosa came in, was like, Louie, Kyle, and then she gets bashed on the head, and then there's three bodies in here. Ha ha ha! Oh! Who would do such a thing? Who would dunning such a thing? Didn't see a face. How about you, Louie? You see who sapped you? Nah, man. All I saw was stars in the floor. I was checking out the shelves in the cellar when I got whacked. Ooh, can't believe how much this hurts, man. Know how you feel. That's enough whining from both of you. Pull yourselves together and act like men. Yeah, you say that, and then we, it turns out we're both concussed, and then we both die, and it's all on you, Rosa! Mr. Hyde, Beetle hasn't come back yet. She's still gone? Yes, and I'm as worried as can be. Do something about it. Don't be so useless. I can't believe any of this. Just when the girl starts to talk, she up and vanishes. Whoa, hold up, mama's ass. Saw my mass. Mila started talking when this happened. I ain't heard squat about that. I just haven't spoken to you about it yet, Louis. Louis Donano. Same old song and dance. No one tells Louis nothing. So when did Mila start talking? And did she say anything about me, huh? Focus, Louie. You lack focus. We were in room 111, Rosa opened it so I could eyeball an apple painting. Apple painting? The one that you've been looking for? That's it. There are five of them in this joint. And each one's got a different letter of the alphabet in it. String all five of them together and they spell out a name. Jenny. Jenny? I don't know no Jenny. Jenny, that's... But that's the name of the girl Mila was talking about. Yeah, it is. Whoa, whoa, slow down. I just got cracked upside the head, remember? Did Mila start talking while you was looking at the painting? No, it was after. I came out of the room and she had keeled over. What? She like fainted? For a fact, poor thing lost consciousness and then stopped breathing. Oh man, trip. But Mr. Hyde kissed her right on the mouth and woke her right up like Snow White. Mouth to mouth. Hyde! Oh man, talk to me, brother. You're an idiot, Louie. Once Mila came around, she started talking. And that's all there is to that. I think room 111 triggered something. What's that? She remembered coming to the dusk ten years ago with her father. You think that's true? Yeah. Sounds like she was playing in 111 with this Jenny kid. Then somebody up and snatches the kid right in front of her. 
Get out of here! I took Mila back to my room and Mr. Smith showed up. He told me to take Mila to the police in the morning. Well, I told him that Mila could talk and that we didn't need the police's help. Mr. Dunning's eyes got as wide as hotcakes and he said he had to talk to her. Wait, so he took Mila? Man, this is trippy. But I think I follow you so far. There's more. Kevin Woodward knows Mila. Melissa's pops? Woodward's the doctor down at the Robbins Memorial Hospital. Mila was a patient there for a long time. You did not tell me any of this, Mr. Hyde! Is the poor girl sick? Shut up, Rosa. You're being no help right now. Not exactly, she was in a coma for 10 years. While we're trying to explain this, the guy's getting away. All my stars! Then six months ago, she wakes up. Woodward says it was a total surprise. Man, now my melon's real aching. You can't wake up, make up, crap this weird. Let me make sure I follow. Mila was here 10 years ago, yeah? I dig that. But then she goes under for 10 years. That's crazy. It gets crazier. Woodward told me Mila's old man used to visit her once a month. Nice guy, right? But right before she opens her eyes and rejoins the world, her old man vanishes. No one's heard from him. Oh, that poor man. It's possible he doesn't even know that she'd recovered. Possible. And that's why Mila's trying to find him. Yo, hi. You sure we ain't still knocked out? This is the freakiest story I ever heard. Better sit down then, Louie, because I ain't done. Right before Mila came around, she got a new visitor. Wasn't her old man, either. It was somebody using the name Kyle Hyde. All right, that's enough. You gotta be kidding me, right? Because if that's true, then you know who was at the hospital. I know, Voldemort was there. Whole thing blows my mind, man. I dig it, man. Yo, brother, dig it. Oh, yeah, brother. Mr. Hyde, I'm awfully worried about Mila. We have to hurry and find where she and Mr. Smith have gotten to. Oh, I know. But we also have to check out this wine cellar. And with that, let's go ahead and end this video here at about 22 and a half minutes. So, stay tuned for the next one. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye!